welcome to the Post Harvest Laboratory here at the Indian River Research and Education Center. My name is Mark Reitner. I'm a professor here. I've been here since 1998. But you may be asking, what is Post Harvest? Well, Post Harvest is where we develop practices to uh, assure that our product, our fresh fruits and vegetables, arrive at the consumer in top quality. Uh, it sounds like you know, very straightforward, but it's very complex because we are all the way out in the field during growing to make sure that the, the fruit is developing well. Any pre-harvest treatments we might do to help assure that post-harvest quality. And then we also look at harvest and post-harvest handling like washing, waxing, um, drying, storage, any other treatments uh, we might do in terms of ripening or degreening. And then we're also looking at food safety. So um, how does our practices assure that we're not, we're developing and we're delivering fruit that's safe for the consumer. So our program relies on a lot of people to make this happen. You know, we have people that we've hired in terms of technicians and biological scientists, but we also have international students. This is Marish and Rachel uh, from Haiti, Earth University, and from Brazil and they're here with us this year. We bring people in every year. We often have visiting scientists. Um, we have other types of students that will be here working on their PhD from other universities, and we have our own students here as well. And so what we are looking at today is some of the issues we deal with uh, grapefruit. See, uh, Florida grapefruit, especially from the Indian River region, is the best in the world. Um, but this one isn't really at the level that we want because a, a really good Indian River grapefruit is more flat. It's more dense than this because it's full of juice and then it, um, if you were to cut this open I think this is going to have a lot of peel in it and it's not going to be that nice solid piece of fruit that we come to expect from Indian River grapefruit. So one of the key aspects we uh, work with is preventing decay of fresh produce. Uh, you don't like to see your strawberries all fuzzy when you pick them up at the store. Well, we have to look at that in many different areas, from the field all the way to post-harvest handling. And this is Dr. Zhang here, and he is Hello, our, everyone. He is our, our key uh, scientist working with uh, pathology in the lab. So another thing that is critical in terms of fruit quality, of course, is the internal quality, how the product tastes. And so we evaluate all of our product that comes in here for fresh fruit quality. And this is uh, my biological scientist, Sui Feng Hu. She handles, um, manages many of our projects here, especially looking at the fresh fruit quality. We look at new selections new, that the breeders are putting together, and we bring them in. We uh, test the internal quality, and we look at things like, this is a, a, a bricks meter, uh, total soluble solids. And so it's amount of sugars that are inside the fruit. And then Sui Feng is working on looking at the acidity of the fruit, how tart it is. But we also look at other aspects of the fruit, like the color, we have a uh, device that measures the color uh, objectively. And then we also look at peel puncture resistance or the texture and how tough that peel is. And we can also do other things like how easy is it to peel um, by scoring it and then pulling a segment of the peel, which measures how difficult it is to come off and how much it breaks before you get a long peel off. Welcome to our post-harvest facility. So in this facility, we can simulate commercial practices so that we can do different tests because if we did uh, tests like on a large commercial line, they're so small, they're hard to keep track of. But here, we can keep track of smaller samples that we're doing different specific treatments on and then simulate how they're actually run in a commercial operation. So this is our, our washing waxing line. Uh, it was generated by JDT a number of years ago. So we dump the fruit, we wash it, and we rinse it and we do a quick dry 
and then we have our wax application here, and then we have our drying tunnel here. And again, we can do different treatments on those wash and waxing lines. Um, we did those uh, work with the USDA next door when we were looking at phytosanitary treatments for um, fresh fruit related to canker. We also have a uh, grading line that recirculates the, the fruit that we can see how well graders can get out certain types of defects as well. Um, so we can do that. That would be more on um, that part of the line. And here is where we have our transfer over to our singulator that goes on to our compact. It's a, it's a camera based system of grading and sizing the fruit. So we have two visible spectrum cameras. We have an infrared camera. And then we also have a near infrared camera back here. And so what that can do is it can tell us the uh, dimensions of the fruit, the uh, length, width, volume, uh, size, color of the fruit. Uh, but also with the near, and also look for defects. Um, the infrared camera in particular is better at looking at um, different types of punctures or decay that's starting. And then we have the near infrared camera which can look inside the fruit to evaluate internal sugar content. So we can, without taking a juice sample, we can get an idea of what the internal uh, quality would be. On this side, we've got our cold storage rooms. And so we can store our different samples in here and do evaluations over time to simulate uh, cold storage situations. This uh, room right here is our degreening room. And right is it for degreening, for helping the color develop into incubation rooms. So where we can heat um, and maintain a certain temperature and a high humidity in there, which helps stimulate um, decay. And so if we're especially doing um, treatments to help control decay, this helps us to be able to make sure that we've got conditions that would promote it to see how well our control is able to control the decay. So thank you for visiting our post-harvest facilities here, our laboratory, our post-harvest facility, and on people that are working on these projects. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at my email address or at our post-harvest website um, down below.